Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 207. What is the defect in Hyper IgM Syndrome? In Hyper IgM Syndrome, there is a defective CD40 ligand on helper T cells. When CD40 ligand is defective, you are not able to complete that second signal of B cell activation and class switching. Therefore, no class switch occurs. Describe the clinical presentation seen with Hyper IgM Syndrome. In Hyper IgM Syndrome, you often see patients with severe pyogenic infections early in life. What lab findings are seen with Hyper IgM Syndrome? In Hyper IgM Syndrome, as the name suggests, there is going to be an increase in the level of IgM, but there is going to be a decrease in immunoglobulin G, immunoglobulin A, and immunoglobulin E. Basically, what ends up happening in this condition is that B cells will keep making IgM antibodies. And the reason for this is because they can't class switch. And therefore, they cannot make any other antibodies. So there's going to be an overproduction in IgM, but an underproduction in all the other antibodies. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.